Sariputta Pali or Sariputra Sanskrit was one of two chief male disciples of Gautama Buddha along with Magallana, counterparts to the Bhikkhunis Kima and Upalavana, his two chief female disciples. He became an arhat renowned for his teaching and is depicted in the Theravada tradition as one of the most important disciples of the Buddha. Sariputta is regarded as the disciple of the Buddha who was foremost in wisdom. Name Sari was his mother's name and is also a particular bird's name. Putra means son. He was also called Upadisa. This name came from his father's name, Tissa. In the Japanese language he is called Shirihotsu. Shili Biography <inaudible> 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 Sariputta was the eldest son of Sari, a noblewoman. He was the eldest of brothers, Upasena, Maha Chunda, and Ravada, and his sisters Chala, Upachala and Sisapachala. According with the Chinese version of the Mulasarvastivadan Vinaya, Sariputta came from a Brahmin family, and had already embarked on life as a spiritual ascetic when he encountered the teachings of the Buddha. Sariputta had a close friend Magalana Sanskrit, Madgalyayana, another wandering ascetic. They both renounced the world on the same day, and became disciples of the skeptic Sanjaya Baladaputta before converting to Buddhism. After hearing of the Buddha's teachings from a monk named Asaji Sanskrit, Asbahita, Sariputta sought out the Buddha and became an adherent to his teachings. These two are often depicted together with the Buddha, and several sutras regard interactions between Sariputta and Magallana who became renowned among the early Buddhists for his mastery of supernatural powers. Sariputta often preached with the Buddha's approval and was awarded the title, "...general of the Dharma." Pali, Dhammasinapati for his propagation of the teachings and is regarded as the founder of the Abhidharma tradition. However, the Buddha also lightly reprimanded Sariputta on occasion when he did not fully explain the Dhamma to a prince, or when he allowed a group of novice monks to become too loud. Nevertheless, Sariputta was one of the most highly praised disciples, and on at least one occasion the Buddha declared him to be a true spiritual son and his chief assistant in turning the wheel of the Dhamma. If a person, rightly saying it of anyone, were to say, he is the Blessed One's son, his offspring—born of his mouth, born of the Dhamma, created by the Dhamma, his heir in the Dhamma, not his heir in material things, he would be rightly saying it of Sariputra if he were to say, he is the Blessed One's son, his offspring born of his mouth, born of the Dhamma, created by the Dhamma, his heir in the Dhamma, not his heir in material things. Sariputta, monks, takes the unexcelled wheel of Dhamma set rolling by the Tathagata, and keeps it rolling rightly. Topic death According to the Pali Canon, Sariputta died peacefully on the full moon day of Kartika a few months before the Buddha, having achieved Parinibbana, and when Sariputta's assistant, Kunda, gave the news to Ananda, Ananda was very distressed. He passed the news along to the Buddha, who remained at peace, and chastised Ananda's reaction, but, Ananda, haven't I already taught you the state of growing indifferent with regard to all things dear and appealing, the state of becoming separate, the state of becoming otherwise? What else is there to expect? It's impossible that one could forbid anything born, existent, fabricated, and subject to disintegration from disintegrating. 
Just as if the largest limb were to fall off a great tree composed of heartwood, standing firm, in the same way, Sariputta has attained total unbinding from this great community of monks composed of heartwood, standing firm. What else is there to expect? It's impossible that one could forbid anything born, existent, fabricated, and subject to disintegration from disintegrating. The stupa of Sariputta Sariputta went to his native home, Nalaka, a Brahmin village, as he wanted his mother who was still a non-Buddhist to be shown the correct path and faith. He died at the village after being successfully able to convert his mother and make her a path winner. After his body was cremated the bones were taken to the Buddha by Kunda and on the Buddha's instruction handed over to King Ajatasatru. Ajatasatru enshrined these relics in a stupa which was venerated by the followers. In 261 BCE, King Dharmasoka opened the stupa on instructions received from Magaliputta Tissa, who indicated the Third Buddhist Council. In Mahayana While depictions of Sariputra in the Pali Canon are uniformly positive, showing Sariputra as a wise and powerful arhat, second only to the Buddha, his depiction in some Mahayana sources has often been much less flattering, serving often as a counterpoint. In the Vimalakirti Sutra, Sariputra is depicted as the voice of the Hinayana or Sravaka tradition, which is presented in the Mahayana Sutras as a less sophisticated teaching. In this sutra, Sariputra is unable to readily grasp the Mahayana doctrines presented by Vimalakirti and others, and is rebuked or defeated in debate by a number of interlocutors, including a female deity Deva, who refutes Sariputra's Hinayana assumptions regarding gender and form. Here Sariputta questioned why, if she is so wise and capable, the diva has a female body. The diva then proceeded to teach a lesson in non-dualism by switching their sexes, and stating, "...in all things, there is neither male nor female." However, in the Lotus Sutra, Buddha does predict that Sariputta will become a fully awakened Buddha one day named, "...flower glow Tathagata." at which Sariputta's mind is said to «dance with joy». A dialogue between Sariputta and Avalokiteshvara is also the context of the Heart Sutra, a brief but essential Prajnaparamita Sutra in Mahayana Buddhism. Gallery Topic. See also Magalana Samaditi Sutta, a Pali canon discourse attributed to Sariputta Sariputra in the Jatakas Sanchi Bada Kandalakesa, a former Jaina sectic converted to Buddhism by Sariputta